I'm currently doing the uh, Shimongwe Veterinary Experience. The experience that I've had so far is tremendous. We get to see different methods, different skills, other way to approach a different type of situation. I came in with like no expectations because I wanted to leave my Canadian self behind and be like open to the new culture that's around me. You don't get taught that in school. You, you need to be on the ground to see it and I feel like you learn a lot. Every day is a surprise, and every morning Dr. Klopper says, like, oh, we're doing tables today, and in the afternoon we're doing Cape Buffaloes, like, oh my gosh, this is exciting. The projects are not easy. <laughs> um, they challenge you in ways I think that you're not necessarily prepared for, but it's in a good way. Whenever I go someplace new, I'm looking to see how can I make a difference. I don't want to be the kind of person that just stands back. They'll show us how to do it, and then the next time they say, do you want to try? One three-year-old bull attacked the younger bulls, and two of them got the severe skull fracture because the horn is actually attached to the skull. So the doctor applied the cast in an eight shape around the horn to stabilize the fractured skull. Doing all the game drives and being involved with the veterinarian where you don't know what's going to happen next. And even though you may come out with a plan, it doesn't always work that way. There's a real benefit in terms of educating the right kind of conservation leaders going into the future, which I think is desperately needed globally in terms of conservation. They have just opened their arms and, and tried to help us help them. There is a definite sense of unity with everybody. People are there to support you, whether it's the staff or other volunteers. You, you literally meet friends for life.